A court hearing this afternoon may challenge the future of Louisville's Fairness Ordinance, which enforces LGBTQ discrimination protection. Focus investigative reporter Paula Fasson explains why one Louisville wedding photographer says the law violates her constitutional rights, and she has more on how the other side is also responding. Louisville's Fairness Ordinance was passed 21 years ago to protect the LGBTQ community from discrimination. But Chelsea Nelson, a local wedding photographer, says it's also impeding her ability to do her job. When the government can come in and tell you what to do, what to say, what to create, then we do not live in a free America. That's the message from Louisville wedding photographer Chelsea Nelson. She says Louisville's decades-old Fairness Ordinance violates her constitutional rights. Artists should be free to choose which messages they promote. Louisville was the first city in Kentucky and one of the first cities in the entire South to pass LGBTQ anti-discrimination laws. But those laws came into question in court this afternoon. There is no decision today. John Scruggs, an attorney with Alliance Defending Freedom, is representing Nelson. They filed this lawsuit back in November against the city of Louisville. We specialize in representing cases protecting the First Amendment. Their argument, the city's ordinance violates the First Amendment, which protects the freedom of speech. Scruggs says Louisville's Fairness Ordinance, passed in 1999, prevents Nelson from operating her business freely. She wants to post certain statements on her website explaining her religious beliefs, and the law does not allow that. What the photographer is asking for in this case is to erode civil rights laws for everyone. Chris Hartman is executive director with Kentucky's Fairness Campaign, an advocacy organization focused on preventing discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. He calls this lawsuit a threat to what he stands for. It's really a dangerous attack. Growing up in the 1990s in Louisville, it has always been stressful uh, to be openly gay. He says Nelson's lawsuit, if successful, would erode decades of fighting for equality. We've now got 20 municipalities all across the Commonwealth of Kentucky that have the same type of fairness ordinance that Louisville has. Are you worried about the impact that this could have on the LGBTQ community? Well, it's certainly a concern. But Sam Markison, a law professor at the example. University of Louisville, okay. believes the debate may provide some needed clarity as to where a person's religious rights end and where somebody's right to anti-discrimination protection begins. Attorneys say Judge Justin Walker, who's presiding over this case, could come to a decision over the next month, but that timeline could be longer. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.